Hello, my name is Mark Vandenberg, and I am the creator of the Gun Rights Radio Network. What I'm going to talk about today is how I use social media. I think it's very important uh, that all of us in the gun rights community use social media. There's a lot more stories out there talking about the, the good uses of firearms and people out there protecting our rights than there are bad stories. But most people never see them. There are stories all over the country, all the time. Um, not only all over the country, but actually I pick up stories from all over the world. But, you know, mostly we're, we're interested in stories, you know, in our own country. What I have here is what I'm showing you on screen now is Google Reader. And I've set up this Google Reader feed, which I call Gun Rights Related RSS, in that it feeds in news related to gun rights, guns, uh, whether it's good or bad as far as legislation. And that's a way that I can pick up stories from all over the country. Now, that's just fine if I'm reading them, you know, if I'm using them for my podcast, maybe I'm passing them on to other podcasters in the Gun Rights Radio Network. But I would really like for others to read those uh, stories that maybe don't make it into some of the shows. So what I do is I use Twitter quite a bit. And I post a link and the heading of that story in Twitter. And my Twitter account is also then fed into my Facebook account, which then, you know, so it's, it's double post in both places. And I just wanted to show you how this works. For the most part, um, I just look through the list here and I, I find a story that would be of interest to me. And, uh, you know, I don't post things that are not interesting to me. And as you can see here, th this one here looks pretty good about uh, Starbucks uh, uh, bringing guns, uh, brings on the guns. Um, it might be of an interesting story. So I, I click on that one, I take a look at this story. And so as I'm reading the story, it's like, well, this, this sounds like a story that might be of interest to others. And so what I do is I can go back to my Google Reader, and I've got this set up so that when you hit send to, I can send it to Facebook, I could send it to Twitter, but I really like social.com. And social.com is uh, a great service that allows you to modify and uh, add more links or comments also to your Twitter feed when you're posting like to an article. So if I click on that, it's going to bring up its own window. And as you can see here, it's already done it for me. It has put the title of the story. It's put where the story came from, and it has already shortened the URL for me. So, you know, you know I am on, on Twitter. If you go to twitter.com slash gun rights, that's me. If you want to subscribe and you can see that it's already shortened. This is the right here, the long URL of what it was, and it automatically shortened it for me, and it put it right in there for me. Now, I can do lots of other things. I could add, like, symbols to this. So if I wanted to add a little smiley face after it, or if I wanted to add a little star showing, you know, things like that, I can do, you know, kind of something fancy like that also to something that's unusual that maybe will catch somebody's attention um, in Twitter. Um, but if you're following me, you probably already see these things periodically anyhow. So all I do is here's the story, and then I just hit update. And it updates the story. It sends it out. And we're, we're back at the story here. And um, that's it. That's what I do. And I do that I usually several, several times a day. I send some stories out so that others can read all these great stories about gun rights. Uh, whether they're good or bad... Um, I think it's important that we read them. You know, sometimes uh, the stories I post maybe will not be something that uh, you you would personally agree on. But you know, if if you know if you're familiar with the story, then and you can um, you know maybe go to that website and and comment about that story. Um, it's something that uh, would be quite interesting. So if you want, follow me on Twitter. If you're not a Twitterer, maybe you should become a Twitterer, at least just to follow me. So it's just twitter.com.